transaction and then I'm going to put this entire thing in the refrigerator and for two to three to four hours and I'm going to come back and show you the rest later okay in the meantime I have a pan that I have a tablespoon of uh, you know you can use uh, uh, an oil that is not going to smoke a lot so I would suggest you know vegetable oil so this is going to be for later and then because in Italy they will use bricks, we're not going to be utilizing bricks. So what I've done here is that I have already prepared, okay, prepared two cast iron skillets to weight this down, okay? So you can put this whole thing in the refrigerator or you can just put this guy completely into the refrigerator and then I will show you what we're going to do next. Okay, I'll see you soon. Ciao, ciao. La, 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 la. And welcome to part two. The chicken had been in the refrigerator. Remember how we used to rub of the one tablespoon of granulated garlic and the tablespoon of onion powder, one lemon zest, a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, and a teaspoon or tablespoon of oregano, dried oregano. So what I have done is I have pounded and pounded and pounded the chicken so it can lay as flat as possible. And then what I want to do is I want to take this paper uh, towel and I'm going to dry the chicken, dry it really, really well. I want my oil to be smoking hot. Remember I told you to get, to get ready with the, you know, you can use two cast iron skillet or you can use a Dutch oven to put on top of that. 
so right now I just want to get my oil very, very, very hot. I'm going to get one of these little guys over here so I don't have to mess with the chicken. And I'm just going, and what I want to do is I want to have it, yes, that's exactly how I want it. So skin side down. So I am done with this. Let me remove this. And then what I immediately want to do is I want to put, and make sure you have the foil underneath, and that will fit right on top of that. And I want this to be on high, and that's what I have it on. Now I'm going to remove the paper over here because then that way, you know, it keeps the board clean. And while that is doing this, it's going to take a good 20 minutes because what you want, you want this to be golden, golden, golden. And press down, press down. So while that is getting golden, I am going to show you a side dish that I'm also going to be using with this. And what I have done here is I have taken two uh, russet potatoes. And, and the one thing is when you're doing this, you need to make sure that the potatoes are very, very dry. Because if they're wet, they're going to steam in the oven versus they're going to get nice and crispy. I have my oven at 450 degrees. When, when this gets nice and golden, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it on the other side, and then I'm going to put the, uh, the uh, skin, the, you know, the breast side up, and then the bottom part is going to be in here. It's going to go in the oven for 20 minutes. At the same time, your potatoes are going to be cooking. So I wanted to show you this dish. This is my, my I wasn't going to make potatoes, but my husband loves to, to have these potatoes, especially when I make this wonderful chicken, and this is one of his favorite dishes. So what I have here is I have a third cup of olive oil that's going to go right in here. Third cup of olive oil, just like that. And then what I've done here is I have chopped four cloves of garlic. I have, I have uh, two teaspoons of salt a teaspoon of black pepper, a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. I also have added um, some chopped uh, thyme. I've also have done uh, chopped uh, wonderful rosemary. And uh, that's what I have here. And also oregano, dried oregano. I'm done with that. Let my hands clean over here a little bit. And then what I want to do is I want to go ahead and mix this together. Because what we're going to do is, these potatoes are going to go in the oven. Oops, this guy took the potato one. He just wanted it, just like, I'm not doing this. Yes, you are. And what we want to do is we really want to mix all of these together so everybody coats. Everybody coats. Oh, yes. And they're going to be so nice and crispy. So, you know, the trick to very crispy potatoes is to always make sure that your potatoes are nice and dry. So this is what this is happening right now. Just want to mix all of them. I want to make sure that all of them are coated. There we go. Then I'm going to get my, you know, your sheet pan. And what you want to do when you when you lay your uh, your potatoes down, guys, make sure that you know that there's there's you know that this is nice and dry. So all of the, so it will receive all this deliciousness and this yumminess. So I'm just going to do, see, look at this. Oh, God, this potato keeps wanting to take off. So now we're done with that. Easy transaction. And then what you want to do is you want to spread it and make it all into one. Try when you cut your potatoes to cut them all the same size. And then what you want to do is you want to have all the potatoes have its own room. You, you know, you just don't want to... Uh, Put any potatoes on top of each other because in that way, as the heat comes from there, it'll start making it nice and crispy. And 400 degrees for 20 minutes is going to finish these potatoes. It's going to be that delicious and yummy, yummy, and nice and crisp. So then you have your side dish over here, and then what also what I am going to be serving with this is I have taken just plain, uh, I've just taken a, a bunch of uh, broccoli. And I'm just going to steam the broccoli because I'm going to show you when we come back this delicious, amazing wine and garlic sauce. But before I go and do that, is I'm just going to look at my chicken. It takes a good 20 minutes. So kind of check it, you know, 
So this is skin, you know, this is breast side down. Oh yes, it's doing its thing. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh yes. So this will continue to do its thing. Then I'm going to put this over here. Remember, when it's all nice and golden, guys, you're going to flip it over. You're going to put the chicken in the oven for 20 minutes or for 150 degrees. I'll, I'll see you in a little bit. Ciao, ciao. Yay. And welcome back. This is the last part of this beautiful chicken. What I like to do so it, the chicken stays nice and crispy, I like to put it in something, you know, that... That can that, that that they can you know when uh, when you are making the sauce, you still keep the chicken nice and crispy. So I have it like so, and I'm gonna put it back in the oven. Now the oven is shut off. The potatoes are done. The broccoli is done. So I'm just gonna add that right in here, just like that. So while I am doing the sauce, so what I'm gonna do here is I wanna bring my my temperature to about medium medium high and you remember all those nice and bits and pieces so what i want to do to this is i want to add two tablespoons of butter this is for the uh garlic wine sauce so i want to add two tablespoons of butter that's going to go right there delicious it is so delicious and then what i want to do here is i'm just going to use the shifty shifty i want to get all the bits and pieces i want all these bits and pieces in this beautiful butter Oh yeah, get these out, let me get these out of the way, these I'm not going to use, it's got a lot of bits and pieces, I just want a few little bits and pieces, and then what I want to do now is I am going to, um, I have a, a minced six cloves of garlic, six cloves of garlic goes in here, this is going to go real quick guys, so make sure you get all of your garlic, six cloves of minced garlic goes in here in this beautiful Oh, oh, it smells wonderful. Now to this, I have, uh, I'm going to be utilizing one entire, I, I used the entire rim of the lemon. And then what I've done is I chopped it up very, 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 very fine. Okay. And that's what's going to go in here like so. Oh, yes. Make sure that, you know, you can work, work quickly so nothing gets, you know, burnt. Now to this, I have some, a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of black pepper goes there. I have a half a cup of lemon juice that's going to go right in here and one cup of white wine. And then I have two sprigs of rosemary that I just want to put in here. And then I want to um, have this go on high so it'll start reducing. And now, you know, you, it's, you know, all the little bits and pieces that were in the oven. Be careful, because when you put this in the oven, it's really hot. So make sure that you don't burn yourself. All right, so then now, I'm just going to get this out of the way. So let me repeat what I said here. Six cloves of garlic minced, a half a cup of lemon juice, one cup of white wine, one rind of a lemon. And let me tell you how I did the lemon. So what I did is I go like this. And I want to stay and get the yellow, you know, not the white. And then what I did is that I just kind of made them in little tiny strips like so. And then just chop, 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 chop. And this gives you such a wonderful, more of a lemon flavor. And it's working so deliciousness with this amazing, incredible dish. You know, Italian brick chicken with garlic wine sauce. You know, who does not want garlic? you know, wine sauce. So remember, remember six cups of garlic, half a cup of lemon juice, one cup of white wine, one rim of a lemon, so the entire, the entire lemon, and um, that it's all in here. I'm gonna add the rest because I love lemon. I love, 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 love lemon, love, love lemon. And what we wanna do is we wanna kinda reduce. Mm. Oh. And just have it on high. And, it's, and you know, the wine is going to start evaporating and start going to making this beautiful little sauce. Then what I'm going to be uh, adding to this is, remember the two sprigs of rosemary, teaspoon of salt, um, half a teaspoon of black pepper. And then what I've done here is I have a tablespoon of parsley, but I'm going to wait towards the end to use the parsley. Now what I did here is, 
I had steamed just broccoli. That's what I have on the side here. This is an entire meal, guys, an entire meal. Then what I want to do now, while this is reducing, is I'm going to come over here. Uh, I got to go get my mittens. Uh, got to get my mittens over here. Because I want to get my chicken out. Because the chicken, it's done. But I wanted to make sure that it continues to stay crispy. Because that's, that's what makes this dish. And the, look at these potatoes. Look how beautiful these potatoes are. You have your entire, entire dish in here. So what I want to do now, because I'm going to show you how I'm going to plate this while this is doing its thing, is I want to take my platter over here, and then I want to bring this. Oh, my goodness gracious. This is so delicious. And I want to put all these, oh, yes, all these crunchy potatoes. Oh, yes. All these beautiful herb potatoes. It's an entire meal. And you know, if you have leftover potatoes, they make a great breakfast. So, you know, I always think ahead. You got to think ahead. You know, this is the potatoes that, you know, that we, that we utilize all the herbs. Oh, the sauce is coming beautifully now. So, it's just kind of, oh, it's just not, there we go. Hey, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Hey. This is a working kitchen. <laughs> so here, we'll just put him over here. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my gosh. These potatoes, they look delicious. They look amazing. They're tasty. Okay, I gotta try one. Mmm. 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 It's, it's incredible. So good. The chicken right now, it's resting because it's really tired, the chicken, you know. I'm the one that's been working. I'm the one that is tired, not the chicken. Pollo. In Italian, pollo chicken. So I'm just going to keep putting this over here. And it's just my husband and I, but I tell you what, you know, that way tomorrow, if I don't want to cook, I don't have to. I have enough, enough leftovers. So, you know, I was always thinking ahead. And this with the amazing chicken. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness gracious. This is looking beautiful. The wine sauce is reducing now. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, now I'm done with this. Mm. Oh my gosh. It's so good. Okay, now I'm going to take you know, the potatoes and the broccoli right there. I'm just going to tent this. I'm gonna grab my chicken now. Okay, just, ooh, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be careful. Okay, there's my other mitten right here. And then I'm gonna bring my chicken over here. It's so wonderfully done that it kind of came apart. Look at that. Look at that. Crispy. Crispy, crispy chicken. A lot of people, you know, they always say that when they make this dish, it's not crispy. The chicken is not crispy. And I have found that if you, when you're done with it, and you put it, you know, in something that, I have to taste this deliciousness. When, you, you know, when you lift it, it doesn't, oh, look at this. Look at that. Look at this. Let me put it like here. Let me put it like so. Let me put this right here. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Let me turn this over so it can be a pretty presentation. Because now my sauce is almost done. My husband is already waiting for me. Ah, that's beautiful and hot. Delicious, delicious, delicious. All right. So now, mmm. I tell you, I just love, love, love. Now this is becoming more and more thicker now. Oh, yeah. You can smell the garlic. You can smell the rosemary. So what you want to do is now you want to remove the rosemary. Okay, we're going to discard the rosemary. But I like to kind of, 
use it as garnish. Because, you know, we use the rosemary. Why not, right? Eh, eh, eh. And now that this is almost done here, because now the wine has reduced into the yumminess of the garlic and, and the wonderful, you know, lemon and, and the, all this deliciousness. So then what I want to do now is I want to take a good bunch of that. I'm going to keep the, uh, the uh, little bit of the... Uh, you know, just a little bit, maybe like a teaspoon, or not even a teaspoon, of the, um, my goodness, uh, the parsley. Now this is done. Oh, oh, are you ready? Oh my gosh. All right. Now I'm going to take this, I'm going to scoop this over on the chicken. On the chicken. Look at this wine sauce. Oh my goodness, this is, I know it's a lot of garlic, but you know what? It's good for your blood. Well, it does. And then what, because I did not really season my broccoli, why not add some of this wonderfulness on top of the broccoli as well? Not on the potatoes. The potatoes, you know, they have their own deliciousness. But the broccoli has got now the nice deliciousness. And then now, are you guys ready to see this dish? Are you ready to see this amazing Italian bread chicken with garlic wine sauce? It's my family recipe. Let me show it to you guys. Let me show you this dinner. You see the garlic? Look how beautiful this crispy chicken is. Look how delicious. Look at the potatoes. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much. Yay. God bless everyone. Bye.